Hey, I'm Bob and I like to make stuff. Today we're gonna make a simple adjustable grill for a fire pit. Last summer or fall sometime, I made a picnic table out at the farm and it had a built-in grill on the top of it so we could grill some hot dogs and things like that at the table. Recently, we were out there sitting around the fire pit and I really wanted to be able to grill some stuff on the fire itself. So today we're gonna go through the scrap pile, find some steel and make up a simple little grill that we could put right on top of the fire. I looked around in the scrap bin and found what I think is everything I need to put this together. Luckily, I found a piece of expanded steel that's just the right size, if not maybe a little bit too big to cook some hot dogs on. This thing is gonna get wrapped on the outside with some angle iron. We've got some scraps here that should work just fine to make a little frame for it. And then that grill is gonna be attached to this pole. This will be stuck in the ground, then we can move the grill up and down to get it closer or further away from the frame. All right, let's start by making the grill and then I'll show you how we're gonna attach it to this. All right, I've got the frame cut down. I wanna show you something real quick. This isn't sponsored, but my buddy Andy Klein, who's an awesome inventor, sent me these really cool things to check out. They're called mag switches. Basically, they're fixtures that you can put on any metallic surface, and they have a dial where you can set the angle that you want the pieces to be at, then you tighten it down, and then when you set it down on a metal table and you turn these knobs, it engages a magnet. Check this out, let me show you. So I lay this one down here, put the pieces I want to meet in the corner. I've already got this set to 90 degrees, and then when I turn these, the magnet is engaged. It has these pieces connected magnetically to it and it to the table. So it's gonna hold them in place so I can tack all the pieces together. This is pretty awesome. I'll put a link down below if you wanna check them out. The tiny little grill box is all done, but that needs to be connected to this collar that I cut off. And then this collar is gonna slide over the other pipe, the pipe that actually mounts to the ground. Now to keep this thing in place so it can move up and down and we can lock it where we want, I also need to drill a hole in this little collar and then thread that so that I can drive in a bolt so that I can tighten and loosen it to move it up and down and to spin it around that pole. The steel that I'm using for this collar is really hard, so I'm gonna do my best to drill a hole and tap it to fit this bolt. But in case that doesn't work, if I can't get it to tap correctly, then I can just weld on a nut and it'll effectively be doing the same thing. Well, the tapping of that actually went way better than I expected. That stuff is not as hard as I thought, I guess. So let's try it out with the bolt and make sure it works. Well, that was surprisingly easy and this thing is in there. It turns pretty freely, although it's not terribly comfortable to hold. So I think next I'll weld a little piece on here and basically turn this into a wing nut. Then this will be ready to put on the pipe and move on. This thing is almost done. The last little thing is to turn the bottom of this pipe into a spike. So I think I'm gonna go to the bandsaw and kinda cut the shape and that'll make it easier to force into the dirt when I go to stick it in the ground around the fire pit. And then the other thing is to add a little foot coming off the side made out of rebar and this will stop the whole pipe from being able to spin and hopefully keep it in place better while I'm cooking something on the grill. All right, let's finish this thing up. It's not terribly pretty, but I think it's gonna work pretty well. Basically, you just stick these two pointy parts into the dirt and then step on this little cross piece to push it down, just like a shovel. Then once you've got it in there, you slide the grill onto the top of it, put it the height you want, and start cooking. All right, let's head out to the farm, try it out.
All right, here it is. It was a super simple project that went together really quickly. Now, obviously it's not pretty and there's nothing about this that will stop it from rusting, but the cool thing is once it cools down, I can just pull it out take it apart into two pieces and then store it away inside. And if you were gonna be buying new materials for this, you could always get a pre-made grill surface or maybe a piece of stainless to put here and that would certainly help out as well. But the cool thing was that I put this all together from stuff that I already had scrap in the shop. If this gave you some ideas for a project that maybe you can make out of scrap that you already have on hand, I would love to hear about it down in the comments. We've also got tons of other types of projects that you may wanna check out. And if you're not subscribed, be sure to do that as well. That's it for this one. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time. The super simple, I've got the grill service, <laughs> wow. It's not terribly pretty, but I think it's gonna work pretty well. <laughs> check, check. Other pipe, they're gonna be the, the they're gonna be the uh. So that it can slide, mm.